That would go under question books as well. At John Muir Elementary School, these kids are just beginning second grade. Put your thinking caps on. Good job. Okay, you're going to think up lots of ideas for writing. Raise your hand and I'll call in. One student is looking forward to getting more practice with her favorite activity, writing. Any other ideas? Okay, Kira? What you're going to do this weekend? That's a great idea. Kira is the only blind child attending public school in Santa Monica. It takes a little extra work to help Kira meet her full literary potential. The school district supplies an orientation and mobility specialist, as well as a braille teacher and a part-time aide. Kira's schoolmates are also happy to lend a hand. One of those who had to work especially hard was Kira's first grade teacher. Teaching Kira in first grade required a lot more work. Every single thing that I was going to have visually for the other students, I had to have brailed for Kira two weeks in advance. I had a fish. Kira's mother does her own part to propel her daughter's education. My fish never bit me. I really liked my fish. She raised Kira just as sighted kids should be raised to become readers. Lots of reading aloud, an early introduction to letters, and opportunities to play with words. Kira's mother has learned to set the bar high. My sister had a fish too, but hers lived longer. My expectations for Kira evolve every day. When we first learned that she was blind, uh, one of the questions I ask, which seems so silly now, is, well, how will she learn to smile? That's really a great story. It never does say how um, I caused the fish to die. <laughs> <laughs> I quickly learned that smiling comes from inside. It doesn't come from mimicking what you see from somebody else. We realized that she had a great interest in writing and enthusiasm for writing when she was four or five years old and she started writing stories. She really learned to write before she learned to read. I love the essay that she wrote about Martin Luther King and I love that essay in part because at one point she mixes up who's black and who's white and she writes about how Rosa Parks was white and she was arrested because she didn't give up her seat to a black person and I just love that aspect of the essay. To better prepare her for success in a sighted world, Kira's parents decided to enroll her in public school rather than in a school for the blind. With proper training and opportunity, blindness can be reduced to the level of a mere physical nuisance. The rest of the world needs to learn to recognize um, the capabilities of what blind people can do. And once they do, then a lot opens up. With the help of her parents and the staff at her school, Kira is reaching new heights as a writer.